ABN, it's Wednesday, my dudes. So this week we're talking about nerdy romance. I'm so excited. These are like two of my favorite topics, so let's do this. I'm gonna start with characters in the Harry Potter universe. I used to write fan fiction a lot. <laughs> and um, I always wrote Germione fan fiction, Draco and Hermione. And when you read the books, watch the movies, you're like, no, this would never ever happen. So true, I completely agree. I don't think there was any sort of weird, oh, I'm a outward racist towards you, but turns out, you know. And Draco in the books is kind of just like a slimy little git. You would never ever go for a muggle-born, ever. But when I write fan, fan fiction about Hermione, Draco is always just like secretly harboring this obsession for Hermione. It does not work in the books, but in my fantasy fan fiction world, it's like the perfect coupling of all time. And I love it. So that's my like secret one that I wish could be a thing, but it has no basis in fact, or even a little bit, not even a little bit. Um, Harry Potter movies, Hermione and Harry, obviously. Ron and Harry in the movies have zero chemistry. They are like the worst best friends in the world. Hermione and Harry are so ride or die in the movies and I love them together. Um, they added this into the movies. It was not in the books but when Harry has to go into the forest to defeat Voldemort for the last time in the seventh book or in the seventh movie, um, Hermione just gives him this look and it's so beautiful and she's like, I'll go with you. And Ron's just sitting there in the back like, what's going on? So I have a whole problem with those movies, but that's one of the biggest. In the books, I think everybody was coupled properly, so no complaints. I really love Jason Clary in the Mortal Instruments series. Uh, don't even talk to me about the movies or the TV show. They're both so disgustingly awful, I can't even begin to comprehend them, but I really, really love them in the uh, books, and that they're one of my favorite like YA couplings. And then my favorite coupling of all time is Mr. Darcy and Elizabeth Bennet. Uh, yeah, mm, I love it so much. And then actual romance book reading wise, um, I really love Cressley Cole's Immortals After Dark series. All of the couples in there are so good and so different and they always seem to work so well together even though their personalities don't always mesh and each personality that you're introduced to, each couple you're introduced to, um, is so different from the other ones um, that her imagination just blows me away and I love those couples so much. So those are my feelings. I have feelings about things about that. That's a thing. And um, that's it for this video. My question for you guys, those of you that have watched or read Harry Potter, uh, Hermione and Harry, or Harry, Hermione and Harry, or Hermione and Ron? Let me know. I think book Hermione and Ron are just fine together. They make a lot of sense because they're well-developed, rounded characters. Weird. Um, the movies did a very poor job of that, and the chemistry between those two, that weird random kiss they threw in in book seven was like, why is this happening? Nothing about this makes sense. That should be Harry. So, um, fine with it in the books. Not okay with it in the movies. And my nerdy pleasure this week. What is my nerdy pleasure this week? What is my nerdy pleasure this week? Mm. I suppose I've been playing Mario on the Switch a lot lately, and I forgot how fun it is because the Switch is like one of the funnest consoles I've ever played on. Um, so that's been really fun. So that's my nerdy pleasure, and I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye.